So we're going to be doing a quick response to Lexi's video on me. I will forward through the parts that don't concern me uh, and just respond to what she, what she said. Uh, it's, this is a react, uh, react, uh, reaction video to the video I posted yesterday. Let's do this. I don't know. I just, I don't like people that like post um, things to purposely hurt other people. Um, I don't know. I just don't, I don't get what, what it's all about. I don't know this person and they don't show their face. They don't, they turn their comments off. Two things I want to address here. First one, I don't have my comment section open because I am not comfortable having my comment section open. I am a new YouTuber. I personally battle with a mental illness. I've been properly diagnosed. In my file, uh, like you've been diagnosed, you understand what it's like. I wasn't diagnosed with PTSD. I was diagnosed with something similar, and I'm always out to try and take care of my mental health. If I open up the comments, my mental health will deteriorate, and my mental health comes before YouTube. YouTube is not the most important thing to me. Um, also, in turning, if, if, I could, if I could guarantee in my comments that everything in the comment section was going to be con constructive criticism on my video, I would be happy about that. I don't mind people criticizing or critiquing the things I put on the internet, but people on YouTube don't tend to use the comment, comment section for those purposes. People write things like, you are so ugly, you are fat, you are dumb, you should go kill yourself, you shouldn't own a dog, uh, you're a dog abuser, um, you're just a retard, horrible things like that. I don't want to subject myself to that, that is my choice, this is my channel, I have the right to do that. And not showing my face, I am a woman. I feel very uncomfortable because of my past experiences. Having men, that amount of men look at my face, strangers, it, 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 it makes me very uncomfortable. I don't feel safe doing that. I've heard horror stories on the internet about people being able to find out where you live, what your schedule is like just from what you post on the internet. It's dangerous. I understand how dangerous it is, so I choose not to do that. I'm not hiding because I'm a coward. I'm trying to keep myself safe. I also am very camera shy. I'm very self-conscious on the camera. Uh, the camera does trigger anxiety for me. It makes me panic a little. I slur my words. I hope you understand this trigger of mine. I don't feel comfortable on the camera. It is my right. It is my channel. Video is literally, it's like an hour plus long hate video. I don't hate on her for an hour. I'm gonna clear this up. I put her original video in the video that I made just to give you guys the whole picture. So yeah, the, my videos tend to be a little long. I tend to rant a little long. I understand that, but it's not an hour and seven minutes or whatever hating just on her. Some of it is her own video. Of course, it's not very much, but yeah, some of it is her own video. I don't hate And I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you what she says in it. Okay guys, I just want you to know that a lot of stuff that she says that I said in the video is not what I actually said. Please be aware of that. She's doing this off the top of her head at two in the morning. She doesn't have the video in front of her. Video is literally, it's like an hour plus long hate video. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you what she says in it. When she doesn't have the video in front of her, she does misrepresent and just makes complete statements out of nowhere a lot of the time. Basically what she says in the video is that Dakota is fully trained, which she made that assumption of herself because as you guys know, Dakota isn't fully trained. I train her myself, yes, um, but she's in training right now. We will be critiquing the Siberian Husky Service Dog. The Siberian Husky Service Dog. If you don't know them, go check them out. They're, she's quite popular on YouTube. 
Her name is Lexi. That's Lexi has a service dog named Dakota. Dakota is a husky. Lexi suffers from PTSD and anxiety. She's a young woman, maybe still in high school, maybe just out of high school. Uh, Dakota was Lexi's pet. Lexi got Dakota when she was a puppy. And I guess at some point Lexi thought, hey, I need a service dog. This is what I need because I can't function with my PTSD and anxiety. And of course, picked her pet because her pet's the best dog, dog, dog for the job. From what I know, if you go to her bio, uh, she says plainly that Dakota is task trained. I'll put it in the video, task trained. There is no insinuation of Dakota still being a dog in training. I look at her vest, it doesn't say in training. Lexi doesn't describe Dakota as being in training. So when we watch the videos, just remember that this dog is fully task trained, fully able to be in tune with the owner. I got that impression from your bio. I said that in my video. I even watched your new Disney video. Please go watch that. And at some point, someone says, I'm not too sure if it was Lexi, but someone says, these are trained service dogs to the people that they're screaming at. Go Again, find a pet co. It's not pet friendly, and these are all trained service animals. They're just going to make it hard for legit handlers, as always. But then, they, you know, uh, Lexi put in a correction at the bottom in writing, some are trained, quote unquote. And these are all trained service animals. You slipped up, Lexi. Whoever you're with slipped up. You guys are still coming off to the public as uh, trained service dogs when some of them are in training or most of them are in training. The first impression I got of Dakota is that she wasn't fully trained. She wasn't fully trained. The woman basically says in the video the whole time that Dakota is fully trained. No, you are incorrect. This is a lie. Look how they're trying to get these dogs to do the downstate. Remember, these are supposed to be, for the most part, fully trained service dogs. Fully trained service dogs. Quote unquote, fully trained service dogs. These dogs can't do a down stay to save their life. These trainers clearly can't correct and mark proper behavior. What they're doing right now is just a mess. I don't say in the video that Dakota is fully trained.
She brings up the fact that the Rottweiler that you guys see in my videos sometimes has his balls, which means he's not fixed. Um, she brings up the fact that he still isn't fixed and that that's very wrong. But like she understands why people do it and why people don't do it. Um, and she's very understanding, but she's nitpicking that he's not fixed. Lie. I never said it was very wrong. Okay guys, I want you to notice that the Rottweiler, from what I can see, is not neutered. She brings up the fact that the Rottweiler that you guys see in my videos sometimes has his balls, which means he's not fixed. Um, that may be because the dog is under six months, that that Rottweiler does not look under six months. I don't know anything about this dog handling team, the Rottweiler and the young woman. From what I can see, the dog is older, more mature, and it still has, it's still intact. I am not here to dictate whether you want to spay or neuter your pets. It is a personal decision, I understand that. Um, she brings up the fact that he still isn't fixed and that that's very wrong, but like she understands why people do it and why people don't do it. Um, and she's very understanding, but she's nitpicking that he's not fixed. But you have to remember, a service dog needs to be in tune with their owner. If that Rottweiler is walking outside or, you know, just working on the job and it smells or senses a either unspayed female or a female in heat, I find it very hard that that Rottweiler is going to be able to stay fully attuned, undistracted by smelling a female in heat. Now they say obviously I'm going to again, don't distract. Service dogs even staring and making old baby faces that a service dog can distract. Now if that can distract a dog, I'm assuming that a female in heat will distract this Rottweiler. Again, I'm not going to say whether she should or she shouldn't, but for a service dog, there can be very bad consequences if you are not going to neuter the male. If he is distracted and he misses an alert, I don't know what this girl's um, disability is, if he misses an alert, that could be your life. That could be your life. And from what I know about the side effects of neutering the male, they don't outdo the fact that by missing an alert, you could be in a really, really bad situation, okay? You are correct in saying, I understand why people do it. I clearly stated that it is her choice as the handler whether she wants to neuter her dog. I said that. I also made it aware that if you decide not to neuter a male, it could possibly distract the work that they're supposed to be doing. In the end, it's up to the handler. I made that clear. I made this um, I made this point because some people who watch my videos are trying to gather information on how they should maybe raise their future service dog. That was for them. It's for everyone watching. You're taking what I said completely out of context and putting words in my mess. She goes, um, he looks, he looks a little too old, he looks too old to still not be fixed, he doesn't look six months old, um, blah, 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 she's clearly not educated on the topic to be like, to be talking about what age dogs should be fixed or not, she's like, 
he doesn't look six months old he looks way older than that um most bigger breeds don't get fixed until they are fully um grown and dogs are not fully grown at six months uh, so so i have here in front of me the uh, american kennel club uh, at what age should a dog be spayed or neutered what they have written here is between five and nine months of age that is the best time that's what they recommend i don't know uh, what other mainstream source i should pick from it doesn't say when they are fully grown it gives an age bracket five and nine months of age Yeah, you don't have to have your dog fixed to be a service dog, um, especially puppies um, and bigger breeds, like Great Danes. You would not fix a Great Dane at six months old. Some people do, but if you want your dog to grow as big as it's going or supposed to be, then you just don't fix them until they're fully grown. Um, and that was that girl's that's that girl's choice is to not fix her dog until he's fully grown. And yeah, normally around the age of two, and he's not even a year and a half yet, so. You say you should neuter your dog normally at two years of age. That's not what the AKC says. That's not what apparently most vets say. Maybe you need to reread the information. That's just what I'm reading hard copy on the AKC website. She was like, you should, no, I'm not gonna link the video because this girl does not deserve views on a very informing video. I don't know, from what I can hear so far, your video seems kind of false on me. But hey, I'll still shout you out. I don't want to uh, enclose my viewers. I don't. I, I don't want them just to see my opinion and not yours. They are welcome to your channel. I hope they go to your channel and get both sides of the story. Yeah, don't shout me out. That's cool. I'm not here for money. I'm not here for attention. Um, if I only have one sub subscriber for my entire channel, then that's fine. The service dog online community um, changes their ways and becomes better and my channel is no longer needed. shout out people I will be happy I will be happy to close my channel down the day we don't need my channel is the day I will be happy I don't need YouTube I I'm definitely not here just to get views and subs and all this kind of stuff don't want to give this person clout because I do have a few more subscribers than she does and i so the value of our opinions right now are based on who has more subs is that your train of thought is that your logic i feel like you're trying the big i think you're trying to play with me the big guy trying to intimidate the little guy I'm not intimidated in the slightest. I don't care if you ever have more subs than me.
but we really want to focus on going up the escalators and stuff with the dogs so that's why dakota had the booties on and she claims that dakota was running around the mall at what point in my video did i claim dakota was running around the mall what kind of hard evidence is this i didn't say that that's lie number 500 I never said Dakota was running around the mall. She just made that up. Well, it appears to me that your Siberian Husky isn't paying attention to you either. Because you picked the perfect time at all times to introduce your dog to dog boots, which some dogs find kind of stressful because the tail, the back area of a dog is very sensitive and something that you shouldn't just um, not quote unquote paying attention to his handler when your dog is running around stressing out about booties. When your dog is running around, running around. At what point in my video did I claim Dakota was running around the mall? What kind of hard evidence is this? I didn't say that. That's lie number 500. I never said Dakota was running around the mall. She just made that up. Running around. Escalator. Um, the Rottweiler um, jumps off the escalator, which he's trained to do. <clears throat> oh my god, I have to choke. I'm joking. Um, the, the dog is trained to... I'm gonna go. I'm getting to that. People were scared of your um, service dog. Listen to this. This is another point she made. So I'm about to get to that actually. So when we go up the escalator, she was like, I don't want this footage to be all be negative. So I'm gonna compliment them on how nice these dogs went up the escalator. I'm like, thanks. That is the reason why they're wearing boots that you criticized in the beginning. <laughs> Give me space because he leaves. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I find it very impressive that these dogs are so comfortable on the escalator. I'll give them that. It can be difficult to introduce a dog to an escalator. It can also be very dangerous. I'm happy that these dogs are wearing booties. So I am I am impressed that these dogs are okay on the escalator. Uh, they are wearing booties. I don't want to be a hundred percent negative, but I'm happy that these dogs seem okay. Do they seem uh, overly excited? No, but they seem okay. She's like, what do I do? He jumps. Yeah, he'll jump off of it. When she gets to the top, she says go. Wait! <laughs> Now, I don't agree with the fact that this young lady with the Rottweiler doesn't have her dog on a proper restraint leash in a mall. I say clear as day, and I, I am so upset that she's keeping my video from her viewers when clearly her viewers are asking for the other side. She's not giving that to them. I don't think this is very respectful to her viewers. I just, Lexi, this was your chance to make yourself credible to me. This was your chance to make my job harder. To say, you know what, this girl is honest. This girl is going to be a hard one to, to critique, but you're making it easier. And I hope your viewers find my video so they can at least get a different perspective. They deserve a different perspective. That is their right, and you are holding that against them. Back to what I was saying. When we got to the end of the, uh, the top of the escalator, she released her dog and she said, 
Um, she said, uh, hop off. She warned everybody around that he was going to jump off. I didn't see a warning. I mean, if there was a warning, it wasn't very apparent. Um, and from the angle I saw it at, was not very far. So from even a closer angle, I didn't see a warning. If I didn't notice it, then I'm sure other people in the mall didn't notice it. It is okay for your dog to kind of jump off an escalator if that's what it needs to do because that's the way it's trained, it's the most comfortable, it's the safest. That's not the problem. 